Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, I am going to give the answers of the interview questions that I have discussed in the previous shot. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. So the first question itself was, we have a trigger that when an account is updated, update the related contact as well. And under one case, one account might have 70,000 related contacts. In this case, will the trigger work fine? So basically the trigger is that when account is updated, okay, update all the related contacts, right? Update all the related contacts, right? So this is what basically uh, right now the trigger is that if the account is updated, update the related contact as well. Now, if I have to write the trigger on this, we can write it something like trigger let trigger name let's name it as trigger name on account object because we are going to write it on trigger uh, account and as we are going to update the related records we have to use after update right now what i'm going to do is for account acc colon trigger dot new i'm going to capture all the contacts or the accounts that has been updated list of id account id equals to new list of id okay so i'm going to capture this account id over here dot add acc dot id right and once that's done okay once that is done what i'm going to do is list of contact con list equals to select id from contact where account id in right this is what the overall code would be and after that you will write a for loop where you will update the contact as well but basically this is what the structure of your code would be right first you get the account that has been updated so let's consider this account which has one account this one account okay let's name it as acc1 okay which has 70000 related contacts so we are going to in this let's consider this transaction one okay in which you are capturing the acc1 inside this account id and you are trying to query this all the contacts related to this acc1 which are 70000 contacts now as far as the apex governor limits right if you go per transactions apex limits that total number of records retrieved using sql are only 50000 you cannot go ahead and query 70,000 records in one go itself. So that's what it is. Within a single transaction, you are only going to query 50,000 records in one transaction. But here you are trying to query 70,000 records, right? Within the single transaction. So that's where the trigger will fail and hence the trigger won't work fine. And the answer to this is basically within a single transaction, we can only query 50,000 records we cannot query more than that but here we are trying to query 70,000 70,000 related contacts and that's where the trigger is going to fail so that's the answer yes there will be an issue and the trigger will fail and the reason would be as i have already told you let's move on to the next question i have 12 lookups of user to a custom object and we have a trigger that if i update any lookup email must be sent to all the user tagged to the lookup but send email function is failing what could be the possible reason so let's consider this as a lookups on the custom object two three four okay let's copy paste and paste so these are around 12 lookups right so if, the, so if you see these are four 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 this are four these are 12 so i have 12 lookups right now so if i update this lookup what will happen is email will be sent to all of these lookups all of these users that have been tagged inside this lookup so that's what the overall scenario is but now send email function is working not failing or failing exactly okay what could be the possible reason so when you have to send an email to all this all this uh, lookups what we do is we usually write the send email inside the for loop itself or inside the overall logic itself and what happens is send email functionality that we have it has it can only send around 10 emails within a single transaction so if you see total number of send email methods allowed are 10 okay so you can only send 10 emails within a single transaction itself but what you are trying to do is you are trying to do or you are trying to go ahead and send more than send 10 emails right you are trying to send uh, more than uh, 10 emails that is 12 lookups uh, that is nothing but 12 emails itself 
so in order to fix this issue what you can basically do is that you can capture all these lookups all the users all the lookups to that particular account using the maps and sets and once that is done once everything is done once everything is done what you can do is you can at the end use send email okay what this will do is it will capture everything and send email will only work once within a single transaction it won't work 12 times but instead you will capture all these 12 records in when within one go and send the email within one go itself that is send email so send email will be used only once okay this is how you can fix it but uh, the possible reason is that uh, if there are 12 lookups you are trying to send 12 emails but it can only send 10 okay you will always face this issue if you try to use send email and try to use the send email again and again you will face this issue because within a single transaction it can only send 10 lookups uh, 10 uh, emails let's move on to the next question how can we permanently delete the records without sending into recycle bin in salesforce now whenever we delete a normal record we can easily find it within the recycle bin itself but what if i want to do just not store it within the recycle bin itself so inside workbench there is a functionality called as purge okay <clears throat> so there are three ways you can delete the record one is delete okay one is undelete and another one is nothing but the purge okay delete is basically you just delete the record and it's stored inside the recycle bin undelete is whatever the record is stored you want to uh, retrieve it back you use undelete purge is when you want to permanently delete the records from the salesforce itself you don't even want to store it within the recycle bin that's where you use purge within the workbench if you go to the workbench you can easily find out a purge within the workbench itself so this is how you can permanently delete the record without storing it to the recycle bin so these are the answers to all the interview questions that we have discussed if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel